Hello, welcome to Bad Power Down to me, Try Speed and Game Content. Today, Bad at Pad is a little bit sad at Pad for two reasons. Number one, uh, <laughs> the first reason is that I ordered some posters to put back up there of Monster Hunter stuff, and then I was waiting for it all week, and then it arrived, and it turned out to be the wrong person's package. <laughs> they put the wrong contents inside. So instead of getting three big posters, I got one tiny poster, and I contacted the sellers. So hopefully they get that figured out soon. Thing number two that makes me sad is that we have the Kenshin collab. And it's not like the Kenshin collab is so bad or anything. It's not, like, amazing, in my opinion. Like, I'm not gonna roll in it. But that means that we might not get Persona, because look at this. Okay, first of all. And this is truly, I'm recording this like literally like maybe 20 minutes after this was announced, so this is a tree action video. This is the Reddit version history of the things that Japan has and North America doesn't have, uh, specifically the section about collabs. And as you can see here, right in the middle, Persona was released in Japan 427, and then two weeks later or something, it was Kenshin. So Persona was supposed to come before Kenshin and after Yu Yu Hakusho, which we did have Yu Yu Hakusho, and I know there are some things out of order, like I don't see, well, technically, um, they didn't put, I know that they got Pad Academy in Japan, but they didn't put that in this list, and that did come after Yu Yu Hakusho for us, but Persona was supposed to come first, so that means we don't get Persona, and I'm so sad because I would much rather roll, roll in Persona than Kenshin. But we still have a chance, maybe it'll come after, maybe they're preparing all the licensing stuff, I don't know. Who knows, because after this, like, we're definitely not getting, like, magazine all-stars, like, we don't we don't get any of the Shonen stuff. Or, I, I don't even know what Crow's X-Worst is, so Persona, I feel like, would be the one that we would get out of these things. And we didn't get it yet. Anyways, let's talk about this event. Um, so, the Kenshin Collabs comes around for a, the third or fourth time, I think? Uh, it's been a lot of times, like, too many times, IMO. It's not the worst thing in the world. Um, let's go over what's in it. So it starts from this coming Monday, 6-11. God, for... I thought it was for two, is that two weeks? Oh, for two whole freaking weeks? Are you kidding me? Is that two weeks? Oh, gosh. Persona is never gonna come. <laughs> it's never gonna come. If Kenshin is for two weeks, which kind of sucks. Um, it could at least be, like, I don't know, something else. Um, sorry, I shouldn't complain so much. I feel like Pad has been a little bit dry lately, like there hasn't been anything new, like N Manticore came up with nothing super fun in a little bit, I was just waiting for Persona to be announced to be like, BAM! But no, it's Kenshin. Anyways, it's for two weeks, starting Monday, um, let's see. So there are a few new monsters in the in the rem, a couple new six stars and a new five star, I believe. This rem also has four stars, so not good. Um, we'll go over those little bits. Uh, the egg machine, where's the lineup? Um, you could get a free roll even if you're not rank 50, so everyone gets this, which is nice. You can re-roll for Kenshin or Hiko Seijiro if you want to. This is the lineup. We now have two new 6 stars and a new 5 star. Uh, and a bunch of 4 stars, which is uh, gross. Um, there is a 1 magic stone purchase with the... So you can buy 1 stone for $1 and get a free roll. Which is cool, I guess. Same deal, same deal. What else? We got the collab dungeon. This Shishio, by the way, there the one of the six star monsters they added was Shishio Mak Makoto. This one is a different. The one that's farmable is different, so you can have like two versions of him if you really wanted to. So the most important thing that's happening that's different now is that there is trading. You can trade for monsters within this one, just like you got could for Yu Hakusho. This is our second thing, third thing <laughs> since the trading post. Uh, we had Pad Academy and Yu Yu Hakusho. Now you can trade in Roni Kenshin. Uh, and I will show you a list of things that can be traded. Uh, it, so you can trade for the six stars, and you can also trade for like um, skill up materials and stuff like that. So let's talk about some things. Actually, first things, let's, let me show you in here what, so there's new evolutions and upgrades. So the, a lot of the existing six stars got buffs in addition to some two new monsters. Uh, new evolutions, new monsters, etc. So Hiko Seijiro got an evolution, and we have these two new ones, which are uh, Anishi and Shishio. Um, Hiko Seijiro got a evolution. I don't think it's that interesting. Uh, we have what this guy is what three skill boosts. Uh, 
cool. That's three school boost is pretty cool, I guess. But as a sub, he's not very, or as a leader, he's not like amazing or anything. Four times 2.5 is 10. So he goes 100x with 1.5 HP. That's not the worst thing in the world. Kind of would play Yagi because he needs two light combos. So this is okay. Uh, Hiko's Adria is great for his active though. We'll go over that in a little bit when we go to get into the trading part. So we also have Yuki, Shiro, and Ishi, which, why don't I actually look at these in pad guide? Actually, it's okay. So he's kind of like a wood row base leader. Um, he's very similar to Liu Bei with his smaller multiplier. He does give you time. Um, he has one more, one less skill boost and one more row. I feel like the skill boost is more important for use as a farming leader, which is mostly what Anishi, I think, is relegated to. Um, yeah. So he's no shielding, no HP, but he does a recovery and... Oh, he does have shield. Recovery and shield. So, like, you get a... Uh, it might be... I don't know. For farming purposes, I think I would want the skill boost more, but... You could use him instead of Liu Bei if you want to. And lastly, in terms of new monsters in 6-star, we do have um, Shishio Makoto. He's uh, an L unlock kind of guy, and he's kind of similar to... Um, the uh, the above dude because he's a linked fire or dark orb so it's kind of like row blob type leader um, he does have a shield no HP and no recovery boost um, actually a pretty good uh, multiplier five times two point five is um, is math twelve point five x so like one forty one fifty ish not terrible I think that might be more than Glavinous hunter. Uh, I'm not actually sure. I should I should fact check. Hold on, let me fact check. Let me fact check. Uh, Glavinous Hunter. So this guy is oh a download. What was that? Probably oh it's probably Kenshin stuff. Uh, Glavinous Hunter, which I need to make a team for still, is in my box somewhere. Uh, one point five times eight is twelve. So, yeah, it's a little bit better for multiplier than Glavinous Hunter. Two skill boost, pretty good. Glavinous also has two, so they're relatively comparable, I want to say. Except Glavinous has a dragon killer, so if you're fighting dragons, maybe use her. But otherwise, you can use this. Um, with either Dark or, like, Surtur's, or, oops, sorry, I have to do, oop, oop. Surtur's and Goemon's for fire, or, like, I don't know. What's the new one? Revo Satan. Um, some active skills change it changes. Uh, Hiko Seijiro got a buff, so not only does he have a fusion style active, which is very valuable, instead of having plus one combo for one turn, you can get plus two combos. So if you're bad at comboing against Sopdet in the um, the stress of the moment, he should help you out. Uh, Kenshin's uh, got some reduction in his overall skill, his active skill charge, and there's some buffs for the six stars. So the two, so the first Kenshin form, which is the cross one, which is the one I think more people would use if people still used Kenshin. People don't really use Kenshin anymore um, because he's very glass cannon. Is that uh, you get more attack for slightly more attack <laughs> with for matching fire and light. So he goes from what. <clears throat> um, Assuming you make one, like two crosses, you would have nine times two, which is 18x on one, which is not bad. You go from nine times two to nine times 2.5, which is uh, a number 22. Oops, 22.5 times 22.5. So you get 506 if you make two crosses compared to, uh, is this? So pretty big, pretty good increase, I want to say. Um, but it's still very glass cannony. I want to so I don't know how popular Kenshin would be. I don't think he's on the tier list right now. He's just not really in. Uh, let's see. So let's continue on. So Hajime or Saito Hajime just got a little more. Um, now he's an 81x in that form. Cool cross lead. Cool. The other Kenshin got a ooh. He got an HP buff. So at least. Okay, it's actually pretty good. He got a HP multiplier, so the 7x6 Kenshin is tanky. Uh, if you play him, you could pair with a normal Kenshin and have a combination of, of tankiness and attack. 1.5 HP, it's not terrible. You know, he might not be the worst thing to pair with if you are playing 
Trello, I'm not going to say the whole name, Trello. It wouldn't be terrible to pair with her because she needs fire attributes too. Um, yeah, 7x isn't too small. I think it's similar to my Shirinui actually. Let me look that up. I'm curious how he compares to my. They're very similar. So my Shirinui is a 8x. So okay, my <laughs> my is still better. Yes, my is my is still better than Kenshin. And neither of them are. Kenshin is unbindable, or Kenshin is but is bindable still. So they're both not good. Although he can get the Super Awakening to be unbindable now. Um, but my is probably better if you were really trying to pair with someone who's not Diablos. Okay, so the next Hikutsu Jiro got uh, this form. 1.5 stats slight. A 8x with 3 combos. You need a lot of light combos to get that, but it's 12x. Uh, not the worst thing. But it's pretty hungry though. Pretty orb hungry. And the other Saito Hajime got. Um, let's see. 2x for dark. That's a very vague explanation. I actually don't know what to say. Number of drops needed for a maximum multiplier has been adjusted. I don't know what that means, sorry. So, Shishio Makoto got a god killer, cool. I think this is the non-rem one. The non-rem Shishio got a god killer. Um, one of the forms of Saito, or they got the, he got a skill boost, which is good for him, and he has a double seven. Uh, so Saito can actually get, apparently, Saito Hajime can become a double 7 with Super Awakenings, but we'll go in order. So the Kenshin, Kenshin can get uh, a, what do you call it, can be unbindable, you'll probably want to go for that one if you go for anything. Same for Saito. Uh, for Shishio, you probably want to go for, if it's this Shishio, you probably want to double up on God Killers. Oh, he doesn't, can't even get, oh, I don't know, he can't even double Killers, or double up on the same Killer. The other Kenshin got, you can, mm, he'd probably be okay, he's better as a leader. Don't think the fall of attack for fire is that useful. I don't think his other awakenings were that good. Let me actually check Kenshin's other awakenings, because I don't remember what they are. I don't think he had any seven combos or anything. No, I wanted actual Kenshin. <laughs> so this is the one. Uh, oh, so he can get double seven, which is cool, but with only with Super Awakenings, which is not as cool. Um, let's see. I'll go over him and I'll go over the six stars separately on their own. Let's see. Uh, probably want to go for double seven on Hiko Seijiro. It looks like Hachibane can get a Damage Void Pierce. We'll go over those in a little bit. Uh, okay, those are new ones. So let's go over some of the monsters, especially the new ones, but some of the other six stars. In terms of four and five stars, it's probably, from what I remember from before, normally if a monster is good, I'll remember it. So the fact they don't remember these ones <laughs> means they're probably not that good. I believe, actually, the one I am going to mention is Kamiya Kaoru. She was good for something. I don't remember what she... She was a four star. Uh, I don't remember what she's good for. I think because she makes, like, Bam Bam... She can use this for Yogg. This will work for a Yogg active, but this probably also works well to break up, like, if you're running, like, a like a Liu Bei team and you want to need to make combos, you can just make, like, your Liu Bei board and then go, like, pop Kaoru is active and do Water Light, and then you can guarantee, like, a certain number of combos. So she's not terrible for that. Uh, nothing else. Her Awakenings also aren't terrible in terms of, I don't know. If you need, if you're playing like a Yusuke team or something, but I wouldn't use her as a Yusuke sub properly, because you probably have better options than her. Uh, let's see, but she does guarantee Yusuke's activation, so it's not the worst thing in the world for a Yusuke sub. But she won't be doing that much personal damage. So let's talk about the six star. Everything else I cannot remember. Let's talk about some six stars. So let's start with Kenshin, who is the namesake of this collab. This is the Kenshin form that crosses, I believe. Am I correct? I believe I am correct. This is the crossing Kenshin form. He has two forms. Uh, so this looks like he's mostly orb enhancing. Uh, you probably definitely want to go with the unbindable for this guy. Um, 
the actor skill is the same between both Kenshin forms. I don't think I've done a Kenshin review before, by the way, so I, that's partially why I'm going over this stuff now um, in more detail, even the older stuff. Um, let's see. So it makes fire and light sky falls, so he helps himself. Cool. Good for, like, I don't know, Ilm if you run that. No one runs Ilm anymore. <laughs> um, so he does get pretty high damage. Um, you can cross, uh, like, a lot of fire and lights and get, you know, like, explosive damage, unfortunately. Oh, he does have a shield, so it's not that bad. Especially, I think, if you pair with the other Kenshin, you get a shield, HP, and let's take a look at the other Kenshin, just to see. If you pair with the other Kenshin, and if you like crosses, that's a very big caveat here, you have to like crosses. You can get HP and shield, and pretty good attack, um, and a 7x6 board. So this Kenshin has um, more support awakenings. You, uh, he does have the unbindable one. He has two fingers, which is cool. Two skill boosts, cool. I think he swapped out. Um, what did he swap out? He got. Uh, he he lost a skill boost and a TPA, I think, and he got. Um, yeah, this one has no skill boost. Mine is a skill boost and TPA. Uh, anyways, back to this one. Uh, this one can get a fall up attack, which again is fine. I think there's better fall up attack options in the existence. I'd probably want to go for the super unbindable if I was running him as a leader, which is probably what she would do to get a, a, as a 7x6 leader. That's his best attribute. Uh, let's see. You have to make a bunch of fire combos for this guy, apparently, to make him get a multiplier. But. It's not the worst multiplier for... You know what? I changed my mind. For um, a 7x6, 10.5 is actually pretty good. Um, it does... It is going to be kind of orb hungry. If you are going to use him for like, I don't know, Trello or something in the future. Uh, although I would probably still stick to Diablos in the end. Would I? Actually, he might be he might be pretty okay to pair with Trello. I should give it a try. I don't know how... Five plus fire combos? That's a lot of combos. Okay, that's a little bit a little difficult, so we'll see about that one. <laughs> um, but that's Kenshin, same leaders, same active. Uh, I don't know if I like this Kenshin at all, actually, for other use besides Trello. In, even that, that's kind of like not the best. So let's continue on. You can get double seven, that's his, his saving grace, with super awakenings only. Uh, let's talk about the next six star. Who's not? Uh, who's six star? I think this guy is six star. Are you? No, you're not. Oh, poor guy. He was a main character too, but he's not a six star. Okay. Saito Hajime. Saito Hajime. This one is seven star, right? What are your evolutions? Just so I know I have them. Okay, these two evolutions. This evolution which is the double dark one, it has five orb enhance, which is actually not bad. It's kind of very Eshimali-ish, Eshimali-esque. Two skill boosts. Uh, I think we looked at the use skill before. He's a cross leader. Eh, it's okay. There isn't a good dark, like, really poppable, like, um, over and over again type of leader. Or, uh, how do I say that? I wouldn't, he's okay. It's, it's, it's not, not the best. Um, active wise, 200k fixed damage, 200k two jam, 200k true damage is pretty high, and five dark orbs created at random. So if you need a really big true damage, this is it. It's not all enemies; it's just one enemy. Uh, I prefer. I tend to tend to generally prefer the all enemy type. His other one, he got some rows and then lost some orb enhance, and he gets a super awakening pixel because I think this is the new one. So this is a no Skyfall leader, uh, time 16, a pretty decent multiply overall. Unfortunately, he still falls into the glass cannon category with no HP and no shield. Uh, let's see. And he's a blobby leader, so orb hungry. Great. Same active skill. Overall, it's, just, it's about as useful as like, I don't know, like, prob I probably, I want to say slightly less useful than like Kurama Hiei, like the six stars from Yu, Sh Yu Hakusho, like slightly, like not as good. Yeah, yeah, I'd say about, not, not, not terribly useful. I don't know what I use him for. Um, awakenings wise, this one, I think I talked about awakenings. Okay, okay, moving on. Who else here is six star who's old? Let me see if I, 
I need to look at the other. I need to look at this post because I cannot remember all the six stars. Uh, good crap is Nitsu Kakunoshin. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> Let's guess. Let's talk about Hiko Seijiro. I know he's six star. So, Mr. Seijiro here is probably definitely the best thing in this collab because he is a Fujin style active and that is good enough to put him into S rank alone. This one, I, I think we talked about his active skill already, so he's plus two combos with a um, Void Attribute Absorb. 20 turns is actually pretty short. That's only one turn less than, one turn more than Fujin. So I think two plus two combos is a little bit better than Fujin's haste. Um, or it's, that's a lot of value for like just one more turn compared to Fujin. Like that's pretty great. Um, this actually isn't the worst. Oh, you need a hell of light combos. Uh, it's not the worst multipliers, but it's a little bit hungry in terms of colors you need. It's similar parameters to Yusuke, except less attack and more orb hungry. The other Hiko Seijiro, oh this one has double sevens by the way, or you can, he has potential to get double sevens, so it's not the worst thing in the world. This one is TPA based, he does come unbindable which is cool. Um, he lost some attack and got more recovery, so cool. <laughs> you can play him with Yogg if you want to, but I don't know, Yog Yog is probably a better combo pairing. Overall, he's still very useful just because of his act, his in as inheritance potential. Now, who is six star in this thing? Who is? It's not Anji. I know it's not Anji. Is it you? No, it's not you. Oh my god, I have no idea who's six star in this clip. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not this guy. You know what? Here. Let's talk about something I do know first. Something I do know is... Here's some things that you probably are going to find interesting. Oh, I didn't talk about Yukishiro. Yukish y y I didn't talk about Anishi, did I? I didn't forget. Let's talk about Anishi. Oh, and Shishio. Let's talk about these guys first, the other six stars. And we have one more to talk about, one other girl to talk about in the five star category. We did talk about this guy, he's not that good. <laughs> he gets the three super rings, health, team health, uh, Minus HP, attack boost, and scroll block. He's like a Liu Bei, but worse, I think, in my opinion. Um, he gets a shield, so if you the shield interests you, you can use that. I think I saw some video on Reddit of someone using him for something, but I can't remember what it was. It was one of those, like, um, I felt like it was a cheesy type video. Um, so he's useful for something. But overall, not like a really meta normal leader. Uh, Shishio Makoto, the dark one, which is the non-REM one. I mean, there is, it is the REM one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, 156 attack. Uh, his awakenings, he is trip, he, he's an L-type leader. Uh, he does get super awakenings. Maybe you want to grab the scroll bruises just because. Um, overall, I probably wouldn't use him. I feel like Rose are kind of dead, or like blob leaders. I don't know, it's just not the best thing. I mean, you can probably run this. I don't know. This is not not. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it's also not like really noteworthy in my opinion. Uh, so let's talk about. Oh, sorry. One other thing. There is a new five star. Her name is Tomoe. I can't remember her name. I thought it, she looks a lot like the Megumi girl, but it's not her. So this is her, she has triple jammer resist, so if you just throw in a Paolo, uh, she's kind of like Bastet, who comes with like several of uh, poison ones, you can just throw on like, I don't know, Paolo assistant at full jammer blocking, if you really want jammer blocking. Poison I think is more useful. Her awakenings are fine, they're not really amazing in my opinion. Uh, leader skill is not also not very good. Cross light. Nope, not gonna use you. And her active skill is actually relatively interesting, only in that it's a very long shield. I think very few monsters have such a long shield. I know there's some, I think I saw one recently that had a pretty long shield, like longer than five turns, which is Susano, a pretty good benchmark for a long shield is Susano, who has five. The unawoken one, five turns of 50% shield. This is uh, eight turns of 30% shield. I really don't think you need a 30% shield for that long. I don't know in what circumstance you would. 
maybe if you're running Yogg or something and you just have an 8 turn dungeon or 8 floor dungeon you just really want <laughs> to be shielded 30% for all of those. But then even if you're Yogg, a 30% shield won't really help you with, well, it might. I don't know. It's kind of niche-y. I'd rather have a bigger shield for sh like 2 turns, like Indra does. In terms of surviving actually long, big preemptives from endgame bosses. So this is the new monster. Uh, I don't think she's that noteworthy. She's pretty. She's pretty. Let's talk about rates and let's talk about trading. Because that's probably the most interesting thing is the trading. So here's the rates. We have five six stars with the addition of the two new ones. Um, we have five. 2.5% each, so 12.5% total. Again, very common rates these days. This is like the new collab rate. Assuming it's for five star rems, which this is a five star or five not five star five stone rare egg machine. This is very common. Um, and then thirty five percent for five stars, and then oh god, fifty percent for four stars. Get out of here! You are not not rolling in you. No 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 um, no no not doing it. <laughs> not rolling this one. Um, I'm pretty sure none of the other things are noteworthy. Um, I'll put it in the description box if they are. No, if anything else is good, I'll take a look at them later. But I don't want to spend video time talking about them. Um, so, those are your rates. Uh, let's see. Oh, so trading posts. Here's the things you can trade for things if you are indeed interested. If you're going to trade for something, I would make it Hiko Seijiro because this is the first tradable Fujin that we have so far. Presumably, if the Beach Collab Monster Hunter comes back around again, you might be able to trade for those. Um, but this is the first one that we is available to us, and I don't even think Japan has any other tradable um, Fujins besides this so far. You probably want to trade for Yukoseijiro, but here's what you can trade for things. So for Kenshin, you can trade these things. <laughs> for I'm not going to talk about the monsters too many. For Saito, you can trade these things. For Hiko Seijiro, you can trade these things. And this one I will talk about. Um, I think it's actually the exact same things you could trade for Yusuke. So I feel like... I don't know if it's coincidence or not, but like maybe they're making the good ones. Like, this batch of GFEs are the ones you trade for. The good things. Like, it probably is just coincidence, but... Um, like the Kali, the Dark Metatron, it's all it literally, I think, exactly the same things you can trade for Yusuke. So if you trade for Yusuke, you probably don't have enough things to trade for this guy. But he's definitely the one worth trading for. And Ishii has these things. And Shishio has these things. Again, wouldn't really trade for any of them except for um, Hiko Seijiro. Like, I think the second best thing in this collab is probably Kenshin. But he's not even, like, really a great... Like, sen compared to, like, the Yusuke Sensui, like, thing, or um, Ed and Alphonse, like... I feel like, especially compared to the Yusuke Sensui, Sensui's a way better second than Kenshin is. Um, Alphonse also isn't a great second, but <laughs> that collab just wasn't that good, except for Ed in the first place. So it's kind of like that. Um, probably I would not trade for Kenshin. Really, you sh I would trade for Sensei definitely more than he would trade for Kenshin. <clears throat> so I think that's pretty much it. Um, just a little sad that we don't have Persona. Um, let me know if you're going to roll in this cloud if you're excited for it. Maybe because it's apparently the fourth one, I'm not that excited about it. Um, I would much rather have Persona, which does have two things that are in the tier lists. Um, Hugo Seijiro isn't even in a tier list. He's like, maybe, he should be in like an inheritance tier list. I don't know if that's a thing. But if that were a thing, he would be in that. Um, none of the Kenshin collab cards that I know of are in the current sub or leader tier list. Which, let me actually go show you those, just in case you were wondering what those look like. So if you go to, this is a very useful thing that I find. Bakadeya.com has... A list of, um, they update about every three weeks an aggregate, aggregate leader list in terms of usage and aggregate tier list. This one is wrong. How do I see the other ones? Site is made for mobile. Okay, aggregate leader list. So for example, it'll show you um, aggregate meaning from a bunch of different websites tier list the good things that are in Japan right now. So in the in, for Japan right now, these are the leaders that are the most used. 
which makes a lot of sense. This blue one is new, or we don't have the blue, this blue guy in underneath Diablos yet, but in terms of Persona collab, this blue-yellow guy next to Riku is um, from Persona. He's a Persona 6 star. You can see Pat Uruka is in here. This yellow-purple guy, I'm actually surprised he made it into the tier list, is also from Persona, next to Kami Musubi. No, next to um, Kushinada. Uh, what else? And they also show you on this, this is kind of bakadata.com, it's right there. It shows you the ex exact list, specific websites, what's kind of in right now, like what the two this means website are. Yeah, as you can see, Game Mate, which I think has the, usually the most up to date news, Trailer, Trailer, What's Your Face is on here. Um, this guy, Dexter Riku, is on, on here, who I don't know his name, it's in Japanese, etc. You can see different things like that. So, Leader Wise Kenshin is not on here, um, but several things from Persona are on here. And to make it even diff, uh, in terms of the goodness of Persona, um, this guy is also on the sub. This is the sub, the aggregate sub list by usage, the most popular subs. Uh, very similar in concept to the leader one. So the best subs in the game currently, one to five in order, are these four Ideal, Light Ideal, Amasu, Odin Dragon, the fire, um, fire form of a. Uh, Fluffy, <laughs> Ilmina, and this guy who is, can't remember his name, Ren Amamiya, who is basically, spoiler alert, he's from Persona, and the Persona collab, and he is a, he's a dark red Odin dragon with double sevens, and a fall attack. That's what he is. Um, so again, here's the game eights, and they kind of break down by type as well, so you can see what's popular of each type. Yusuke is on there. Uh, you know, for this one, like, you can see Enra number six, Kiri, Zella's in there for wood, Yuna for light. So, Kenjin stuff is nowhere to be seen in this thing. So this is generally a good indication of what's good, even though it's not, like, tiered by strength, it's tiered by usage. Generally speaking, this is a good tier list by strength, because people use what's good. So unfortunately, Kenshin has nothing in this thing, <laughs> in the tier list. None of There's no Kenshin monsters. Um, let me know if you're gonna roll in this machine. Um, you might, if you're a fan, I think it's worth rolling in just because for fan's sake. As a Persona fan, I would roll in Persona. If you're a huge Kenshin fan, you can roll in this. Um, let me know if there's any specific monsters you're excited for that you're aiming for. Um, if you're gonna trade for anything, let me know. I'm probably gonna roll the free roll and I might buy the $1 stone, maybe. That one, I don't know about that one, we'll see. Um, but. Uh, one other thing to note is that people used to make a deal out of Anji, who is a farmable from the dungeon. Uh, he's a for he's a farmable from the dungeon because he has a defense void in his active skill. He has no awakenings and he's not inheritable. But if you need a Balboa type button, and he also has like one of those like based on your attack, you do this do this much damage. Um, it's 50x, which I think there's stronger buns. I'm actually not. Sh I don't really f know the numbers for the buns that well, but if you're looking for a Balboa type active, he's there. So, anyways, I think that'll be it for this video. Let me know if you're excited with collab, etc., etc. Everything I said before, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.